Hello, friends and other relations, and welcome back to Surviving the Elements. Today's Friday, so we're featuring a deck. Remember, if you'd like me to feature a deck, please suggest it in the comments, or anywhere, really, that I might see it. You can even slip a note under my door if you can find it. Um, but the deck we're featuring today is called Pendulum Berserker. I probably would have called it Fiery Death, but to be fair, that name's probably already taken. I'm not that original. Um, <laughs> uh, this deck was made by Zblader. Let me show it to you. It's a fire and death and water deck, a tri trio deck, which I thought would be fun to do today. And it was posted just about a week ago. So um, I figured a lot of people probably haven't tried this one yet. And it's, a, it's very similar to the, the Nymph's Tears deck that we did earlier, but... Instead of um, water and gravity and entropy, this is much more focused. It has just fire, uh, fire nymphs and death nymphs, specifically focusing on pendulums. I'll show you how it works. Oh, and it has a bunch of poison, too. So that's cool. <laughs> Another important difference. So the fire nymphs use the rage potion to kill creatures. And you, as he says in the comments, you only really need a couple of those. Oh, this is a bad start. <laughs> and the Death Nymphs are mostly for killing, or for, for damage. But he also has some deflagrations, so that you have a little bit of permanent control to work with. <coughs> so it's a pretty well-balanced deck, though he includes the warning, this is not for the practical of heart. I, I don't think he did it himself quite enough justice there. It, it, it seems pretty practical to me. At least it makes sense. You've got creature control, you've got permanent control... Um, you, it doesn't have as much defense, and that's probably what he was going, uh, what he was thinking of when he said that. But still, Z Blader, you made a fun deck. Thanks for uh, thanks for submitting it. Okay, nymphs tears. Let's go ahead and grab a red nymph, so we can start with the creature control thing. I'm also going to need to deflagrate that gravity shield because otherwise. I'm not going to be able to do any damage, whatever. <laughs> so let's do that. Deflagrate. Gravity shield. Destroyed. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of the Graviton Mercenary, because it's causing the most damage right now. Uh, and poison. Yeah, let's poison it up. Yo. Red Nymph only does one six. Or it only does one damage. And that's why we really should start playing some of the Gray Nymphs. There we go. Seven damage. Much better. Even though he's got Armagios diverting the damage. This should still go... I think this is going to go pretty well. As long as I keep uh, killing those Otiugs. More poison. Mm. I'm so stuffed up. It is not even funny. I probably sound like a like a gnome. <laughs> doctor, doctor! Uh-oh. One thing that I don't like about pendulums is the fact you have to wait every other turn to get the quanta you want. But, hey, I mean... It's still... It's still... It helps you diversify your deck a bit, and that's a good thing, obviously. I'm gonna kill this Sapphire Charger. Because it's causing damage, and I don't like damage. More poison. More poison. Poison's coming in nice here. Okay. See what I mean? Have to wait for the fire. Every other turn for fire. Okay, he gravity pulled the dragon. I'm actually kind of grateful for that, because the dragon is what was causing the most damage. Okay, let's kill the Otiug. Don't really need the Aflatoxin right now. So I'll just poison him again. Ten poison damage. I, I practiced with this deck a bit, and the poison never came into play in a big way. This one, it seems to be doing exactly that. And I like that. Ah. My, sorry, my nose is running off my face. That's... It, it's as gross as it sounds. <laughs> All right. He describes it as a rush deck, and I see what he means. It's a pretty quick deck. It's not as quick as you'd normally expect from a rush deck, but maybe I'm just playing it wrong. 
Anyway, thank you friends and other relations for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you enjoyed the Pendulum Berserker. And uh, hope you go try it out. I'll include the import code in the description as well as a link to Zblader's post. And uh, hope you have a great weekend. Hope you go on a fun adventure and I'll see you anon. Bye.